You know, here's a dream of mine. Here's a dream of mine. September rolls around and the kids don't go back to school. And the teachers show up in empty classrooms and wait. Make them sweat. Not one kid shows up. None. There's a dream of mine. Because they ain't learning a freaking thing there. Most of this started between 1951 and 1953. Okay, Jane Spaulding, a beautiful black lady who was going to be head of our Department of Education. Can you believe prior to 1964 in the Civil Rights Act that this lady was going to be head of the Department of Education for the United States government? You know why? She was the best school teacher in the country. If you could picture in your mind a perfect school teacher with all her knowledge and wisdom, her experience, her age, what she knew in her mind, being that perfect school teacher, you'd picture Jane Spaulding. And the federal government provided, paraded her around to all 50 states, and they got Jane Spaulding to sell the states on standardized education so that a parent with children in schools in Los Angeles could move to New York City and when the kids arrived in the middle of the school year, they could step right in where they left off. But they also used the auspices of federal funding. That the states would get federal funding. And then on April 11, 1953, Jane Spaulding signed the last state up, and she became the head of the Department of Education. And 49 days later, the president fired her and put in Nelson Aldrich Rockefeller. The grandson of one of the most prominent baking families in the world. And Nelson Aldrich Rockefeller whose grandfather set up the Federal Reserve, the Aldrich Plan, gave a speech. And all the news reporters were there. And he said that he considered this the most important position in all of government. But, but right before those words, right before those words, the reporters asked him, how much did you make last year, Nelson? And he said, $140 million. That's a lot of money in 1952. And Nelson, how much money did you pay in taxes? And he gets an Indian head penny out of his pocket, and he flicks it at the crowd in the news reporters, and he said, not one red cent. Not one red cent. Okay. Why should he? Nobody knew where that money was going more than him, and it wasn't going to fund government. Okay. So they said, Nelson, why do you consider this to be the most important position in all of government? Do you consider it to be more important than the president, the vice president of the United States? And he says, yes, I do. And they said, why is that? Because if you give me one decade, I'll change the minds and therefore the direction of the world. And the president can't do that. And in eight years, he rewrote every textbook in America. And most of the textbooks that are older than that were burned. Oh. He was only kidding. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Nelson Aldrich Rockefeller. Okay. And you haven't learned anything since. <laughs> 